There is a beautiful hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu when he said, he who does not show mercy to our young ones or recognize the rights of our elders is not from among us. I've written about Umar and Yasser, two teenagers tortured and detained in Guantanamo. One even died. May Allah accept him as a martyr. Guantanamo and Bagram had little mercy on our young ones, but the elders fared no better. In Pashtu, elderly men are generally called Spingira, the greybeards, with respect. But Bagram, with its dark cells and torture chambers, was devoid of humanity, let alone respect. In Bagram, I remember young US soldiers bragging about the very dangerous Afghans who had been captured just now. When I saw they were referring to really old men, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. I remember saying that they'd captured the octogenarian unit of the Taliban. Some of these men had lost limbs fighting the Soviets during the occupation of Afghanistan, using rifles from World War I and World War II. Now they were seeing their home, their home occupied again by another superpower. Many of them were so old that they couldn't even remember their exact age. One day, I saw the soldiers bring a camel spider in a box and throw it at a very old man who'd been shot in his leg and couldn't walk. It was a joke to them. The camel spider is the most terrifying arachnid I've ever encountered and has a powerful, painful bite. The bite dissolves human flesh. Several prisoners by, were bitten by these creatures in front of me. Bagram was crawling with them. But they weren't the only ones who had to crawl. One prisoner had his crutches taken away from him because they were a security hazard. To move, he had no choice but to crawl on the floor. The system made no sense and was deeply inhuman. Another elder had his hearing aid taken away from him, but the guards would still scream at him when he couldn't hear or understand what they were saying. It was infuriating and terribly saddening to see these elderly people treated in this way. Like most Muslims, I was brought up to respect the elderly and the sick. As Muslims, we are commanded to be good to prisoners. The Prophet wasallam said, I enjoin you to treat the captives well. That was another piece of advice that fell on deaf ears of our captors. But again, our, oppress our oppressors should not ever become our teachers.